What's going on, Chuckleheads? I was out here at Exposition Park in Aurora, Colorado. It's a pretty simple 54 par course, plays in this neighborhood park. You got some pond OB to worry about, but other than that, it's not super difficult. Really fun course to play, though. Uh, we had some technical difficulties on hole one. It is a par three, 260 feet. Plays slightly uphill, but uh, yeah, we had some technical difficulties, so we didn't uh, get this on footage, but I got my birdie on it, so I am down one going into hole two, which is 249 feet, plays over this pond. I'm trying to take my uh, uh, my harp and just early released it, so it's safe, but it's about 45-ish feet short, so I'm giving it a little jump up bid, see if I can't drop it in the basket, and I do, hit my putt, so down two through two, not too bad. Here's hole three, 315 feet. Uh, sidewalk is OB. I'm just taking my truth and trying to put one out there, and the wind kind of pushed it a little more than I was hoping. So it tested that sidewalk, but ended up, ended up safe, about 20 feet to the left of the basket, and just whiffed my putt right, right to the right of it. So I will be hopefully tapping in my three, trying to avoid the mud. And get it. So on to hole four. It's 324 feet. The tee box says it's like 401, but it's definitely play shorter. Uh, but I am going to be taking my uh, my FD. I'm trying to put it on a big hyzer line. And just again, early released it. And I didn't really tell Sophie what I was doing. So she didn't quite get the shot, but that's okay. Ended up about 35 feet. Sh not short, but to the left of the basket. Just about pin high. Giving it a jump putt. And again, just pushed it to the right. So, here's my par putt. About, it's maybe 12, 15 feet or so. Just hit left side. But it stuck, so. Moving on to hole 5. 291 feet. And I am taking my truth again. I'm just trying to put it on another big hyzer. Let it fade in and miss the orange barriers for those trees and I thought I was going to clip it but I ended up I guess getting just in front of it parking the hole up 10 feet got my birdie down three onto hole six par three 335 feet just trying to take that truth again and kind of do the same line and just get right around the orange barrier for the tree it was kind of a right to left crosswind, and that wind just kind of picked up the truth and pushed it to this creek, which is OB to the left of the fairway, and skipped just uh, on the other side of it. So, pitching up my putt, I'm just trying to get my four, move on. And apparently, there was a toy helicopter on the basket and a sticker of Brandon Nielsen, who is a big, uh, big part of the Denver area disc golf community he's a great guy but on the whole seven 223 feet I'm trying to take my uh my crown and just put it on a nice flat line up high and let it fade towards the basket and just didn't quite put enough on it so it ended up pin high but maybe 20 feet and this does slope down to the creek again so i'm just trying to give it a nice soft bid got my birdie on to hole eight this is the longest hole on the course 398 feet i'm trying to take that fd again and put it on kind of a high flex line and try to get kind of where those trees are it's probably about 360 ish and i hit the line hit my angle just about 30 feet low of what i actually wanted so it didn't have room to fade back so I am pitching up my Glow Makani and just early released it, but got some love off the tree. So now I got about a 35 foot putt for my par. And again, short and pulled it right. So bogey putt, almost missed it, it was low left, but it stuck. So on the hole nine, 293 feet. Taking my truth again, putting it up to the right and trying to miss those uh, 
orange barriers for the trees. You can do a flick, but I just I can't really flick 300 feet. So taking my mid range and just trying to put it up nice and high and I just clip that barrier last last second. So here I'm trying to straddle out around and try to give it a little bit of a run, but you can see it kind of slopes down uh, from the basket down to the pond. So give it kind of a half bid. And ended up short, but easy tap in. On to hole 10, 192 feet. I believe this is the sh one of the shortest holes on the course, and it's definitely an ace run because you got a backstop of that hill. So I'm taking that crown and just trying to put it up high just in line with the basket and gripped it a little bit, but it parked the hole. It's about six feet. So I hit my two, down three again, on the hole 11, 267 feet. Uh, you got the pond on the right. The sidewalk on top of the hill is OB. I'm just trying to take my evidence, uh, my dynamic disc's evidence, and Throw it out kind of left to right, let it drip towards the basket. I just didn't quite put enough pop on it, so I'm about 25 feet or so. And you kind of see it slopes downhill, but hit my putt for the two. On to hole 12, 278 feet. I let Sophie choose what uh, my throw was going to be, and she decided to go right at the tree. So I'm taking my mint discs bobcat and trying to put it out to the right. And we had kind of a left to right crosswind, so it kind of pushed my disc down. Didn't quite get to the basket, about 35 feet again. And jump putt was right on line, just a little low. So I'll be dropping in another par. And moving on to hole 13, 351 feet. You can see the basket there on the peninsula. You can throw over the water or just flick around. And I'm taking uh, the over the water route with my match play explorer and just barely skipped off the water to get in bounds. So I am pitching up my two, try to give it a soft run, but didn't quite get there. And here we got some uh, geese just swimming right by the basket as I wait to go tap in my par putt. Look at these geese. So cute. Swimming by. You see geese and duck at this all the time, but I would not recommend getting in this water because it is pretty gross. Uh, on to hole 14, 327 feet. Again, you can kind of throw a big hyzer over the water or uh, flip just kind of down in the open fairway. I'm taking that same explorer. I'm trying to throw just a little bit over the water with a hyzer. And I do pretty much exactly what I want. Uh, Sophie was just a little bit low on the camera, but gets where I landed. In the circle, just about 25, 28 feet or so. And again, it kind of drops off just past the basket. And pulled it right again. And I thought it was going to roll towards the water, but ended up just going right over the ledge and sitting. And here's my three putt, about 15 feet away. Made it. And then slips trying to get up the little ledge. But we made it. And we're dry. On to hole 15, 320 feet. It's kind of a dog leg to the left with the creek following it on the left. I'm taking that truth, just trying to put it up high and let it slowly fade. And it was a decent shot, just didn't quite fade as much as I wanted. So it's about 40, 40 feet, I'd say. Pin high. Just trying to give it a little soft bid. Ended up clipping the circle, circular base for the basket and standing up and rolling down the hill. It got stopped by some weeds, so it didn't go in the creek, but it almost did. And I love this shot, my par putt. On the hole 16, 198 feet. This one is definitely another ace run, but you got to be careful of the creek on the left. I'm going to be taking my blue crown and just try to put on a nice flip up hyzer through the trees, and it was a great shot. Sophie got the good shot as well. Tap in two with the birdie. On to hole 17, 265 feet. I'm trying to take that truth again and put it up high, let it fade towards the basket. 
And some of these tea boxes are a little slanted. I don't know if you can tell, but this one's definitely slanted. And I don't know what happened, but I got some crazy wind bump down. So I didn't quite get to the basket. A little short, but still got a birdie look. And just put it a little too high. Hit the top. We drop it in. My three again. Just right into the chains. And on to the last hole, hole 18. 211 feet. You got the pond on the left, sidewalk on the right. I'm just trying to take my crown and just put it on a nice flat line, let it drift to the right a little bit. And I thought it was going to be a good ace run for a second, but it was a little low. Still about 10 feet from the birdie. And I hit it. Down six, 48. Overall, not a terrible round. Almost tied my personal best with a 47, but uh, ended up with the 48. Otherwise, decent round, a little cleanup to be had, but this is a really fun course to play, really simple. Uh, go ahead and like and subscribe if you want to see more, and uh, I'll see y'all on the next video. Thanks for watching.